Hey guys, Awkward Hybrid here. Yeah, okay, I know. Lighting is probably really bad right now. I, I have moved location again, though not permanently. This is just... I'm pretty much doing this because uh, I need to show you the rabbits we have. Their names are Squeaker and Lucy. And they are really, really cute, and really, really shy, and jumpy. So, how was your weekend, Miss... Miss... Der... Miss... I don't know, Awkward Hybrid? To say the least, it was... Very interesting. Some good, some bad parts that I'm about to go into right now. Let's just list it off chrono in a chronological order. On Wednesday, which I know is not the weekend, hear me out, I was at this sort of church activity, and then I was talking to one of my friends, and I'm saying, hey, we really need to clean the cage, because we've had them for a month, and this is becoming, like, kind of a disaster. And the friend was like, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll do it on Friday, or on Saturday, either one, I'll... And then, you know, we, like, said, make some arrangements, like, hey, wanna have a sleepover Friday night? And then you, I, I could help clean the cage, and it's like, yeah, sure, whatever. Or not, yeah, sure, whatever. More like, yeah, sure, thank you so much, please, thanks. But, on Friday morning, my mom was explaining to me, Hi, my dearest daughter, I am going to go to San Diego, because your father's on a business trip, and I'm going to be with him for the whole weekend. And, it's just going to be you and Michael on um, today, after school, and Saturday, and your little brother's going to be staying at Aunt Cindy's. And then I tell her, yeah, all right, but what am I going to do about the rabbit cage? Can't we, we still need to clean it? She says, that can wait until Monday. And I'm like, eh, all right, uh, let me just go online and complain a lot. So yeah, I'm like, I'm like making jokes and complaining, oh, this is a terrible nightmare, to, to one of my friends who shall remain nameless. And it's very likely that this friend is watching this right now. Hi. Yeah, it, yeah, remember this when it happened two days ago? Yeah, it's that. <laughs> so I'm making, like, all these jokes. Uh, yeah, this is terrible, it's horrible. When, you know, and yeah, I'm not really used to dealing with animal excrement. So, you know, it's still pretty disgusting for me. But this friend owns a cat, regularly has to deal with that sort of stuff. So she says, dude, just clean it up. And then I start to have a little bit of a fit about it, like, you want me to just clean it up? Because again, I'm not used to it. And the friend, you know, is trying to be calm about this. Like, yeah, sure, just, just go clean it up. That's what I'm saying. And then, of course, after a little too many arguments, she answers, look, just leave me alone, and then logs off. So it's like, oh boy, I hecked up bad. And this is an incident where it's like, I have no idea what happened. Oh, no, 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 I am aware. I am, like, the worst person alive. <laughs> well, okay, maybe not the worst, but I'm up there. <laughs> Seriously, have you seen my school reports? My, 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 my student profile? It is a nightmare. Like, there's, like, the good stuff and the bad stuff about me. The good stuff was basically just, Katie is a very fun and creative spirit. She is very bright. Mr. B, not gonna say his full name, is very ex is pleased to have her in the cl in the class due to her bright nature. And then a huge paragraph of all the stuff wrong with me. I am not joking, folks. So yeah, I'm a terrible person. So I'm just sitting there like, oh boy, oh boy, this is bad. This is really, really bad. I went too far. And this is one of those friends that is like the nicest people alive. So when you tick them off, it's like. Oh no, you went too far. And then I decided to go online uh, onto a, a certain website, and this, the friend posts, my day went from okay to bad to great to terrible, and I'm just like, yep, it's my fault. Not gonna comment, just let's see how this fares out. I go onto Tumblr for a few minutes, go back to that other site, check the post, and it's like 20 comments, all disgusting me. 
And then it just says, look, with this stuff happening and this and then this and other stuff. And then one of my friends complaining about rabbit crap. And it's like, oh, yep, yeah, that's me. That, that's that's me. It's, it's me. It's all about me. I, I didn't read the whole thing because I was in a bad enough mood for pissing off my own friend. And then it, I just went over and it's like, she doesn't intend to be rude. I'm just, and then other stuff. And I'm just still kind of upset. And then accidental bullying. And it's just like... Uh, so yeah, I went on a co on the comment, and I posted, Yeah, this is the friend. I'm sorry. I can be a jerk. Again, really sorry. Because, again, I'm trying to summarize this calmly uh, as best as I can. And no, I'm not going to leave a post in the links below, because that's kind of private. And then I just kind of had a fit of sensory overload. Yeah. Yeah, you... I think some of you know what sensory overload is, but if not, it's basically sort of like all of your senses makes everything like a thousand times more intense. So, seeing it was like the middle of the night, I just wanted to, like... I was just hiding under my bedroom, like my, my, my bed sheets for like an hour or so, just needing to relax and to calm down. And the thing is, I made all those... The friend told me to just leave her alone at about 6 o'clock. It was midnight when I went back on and on like Facebook and I asked her, am I allowed to talk to you now? She said yes, and it's just like, look, really, really, really sorry. You're gonna be... Like, we're both apologizing to each other for what we said. Sorry for getting upset. Sorry for being a jerk about animal stuffing things. And again, I was having the sensory overload, so I'm like... Holding my phone, I mean, th I'm using this to record it, so I can't really pick it up, but it's just, I'm holding the phone, like, like, at an angle, so I don't have to look at the glare. Like, you know, when it's really dark, you take your phone, you turn it on, and it's just, like, the most intense light ever. Yeah. Imagine that, and then even brighter than that. So while I'm having sensory overload, I'm, like, trying to type out from, like, the corner... And I explained to this friend, yeah, I'm kind of having sensory overload right now. So sorry if my replies are coming slow. And then I went to bed, and I woke up, and everything was fine. And then that's the most major event.